Today we're going to be building trailer ramps for this trailer. Now, the ramps that came with this trailer are quite short. I have one pulled out here so you can see. And <clears throat> here it is here. And you can see that's a pretty steep angle, especially for a, a lower car. Anything short of a 4x4 four four is going to have a hard time getting up on there. And I went down to my local scrap steel yard and I found <coughs> something that will work pretty well. So I don't have to build the entire ramp myself. Uh, yes, this board is rotted out here. That will be replaced also, but one thing at a time. This is the uh, piece of scrap steel I found in the pile. I was originally going to build it myself from angle iron just like the one you saw up there but I spent several hours digging around in the scrap pile and I found this and I figured that would be a hell of a lot easier so I'm gonna cut this in half and I got those two pieces of angle iron to weld onto the uh, side that I cut in half to uh, square everything up and attach it to the trailer I guess uh, let's get started here you can see I've measured out the halfway mark and I've wrapped scotch tape around, or excuse me, masking tape around so I can get a nice clean cut. And I'm going to be cutting this with my sawzall here. <clears throat> and I've suspended it up off the ground with two tires and some old batteries as counterweights. I lug this back over to the trailer to kind of get an idea of what it looks like. And I think that is going to be a lot better. The angle is going to be a lot better for getting lower cars up onto the trailer as compared to the other one over there. You can see the difference. Uh, another thing I didn't account for but pretty happy on the way it turned out is the way this kind of flushes up to the deck of the trailer. It's pretty cool. I had originally thought of doing it like they've got this one here set up. If you can see that in a, the uh, it's a plate comes down, hooks under this bar. Thinking I might take a piece of angle and tack it to the bottom of these. And it'll just kind of ride right there in that. Alright, I've made up my mind what I want to do. What I'm going to do is I am going to put this angle iron in the middle here for extra support. Because I was thinking, I have a tractor. It's pretty heavy. If I want to put that on there, I'm pretty sure it's going to bend that that grating in there. So I'm going to just going to put this in there. I got the steel. Why not? Um, what I'm going to do is I need 90 inches from that end of the grate to this end, and the extra I'm going to use as the butt end of the the ramp here, that up against there, weld it all up. And uh, this particular piece of angle iron is nice and straight, but this one, uh, it's got a slight tweak in it. So I'm gonna, I have to cut this a little short, and then I'm just gonna go up a couple inches from where it's bent and cut it, and that way there I can just, I'll just do a butt weld. And I'll put that towards the end of the trailer ramp or something, I don't know. But, um, that's what we're going to do now. And, for anyone that does any steel cutting, even if you do it once in a while, I, I highly recommend getting one of these, these little cutoff saws here, because they are just the handiest thing. I noticed uh, when you just you put on full blast and you just force it all the way down through, you tend to get a, a crooked cut. So that's why I like to back it off every quarter of an inch or so. Just kind of let it realign to make sure I get a nice straight cut. Alright, I have two more cuts to make, but uh, I gotta get those bolts out of there and take that plate off. Um, you could do that with like, a pair of cutting torches or 
grinding wheel or something, but I got a feeling they're going to unthread, so I'm going to give this a try. There's one. Hopefully I'll be just as lucky with this one. There we go. So it was an inch and a quarter bolt. I was lucky enough to have a socket to rent. All right, I've got all my cuts done. I went and had some lunch. I'm all set up to do some welding now. I decided first I'm going to weld the the butt plate, I guess you could call it, onto the uh, the ramp here. Um, I'm going to hold off on that cross brace in the middle until I get everything else all done, just to kind of get a feel for it. Maybe I'll drive on it a couple times, see what I think. I really think that cross brace is going to be overkill, like way overkill, but I don't know. I'll probably end up doing it anyway. So anyway, let's do some other. Alright, I've got the angle irons welded on. Um, went alright. I've got them both done. What I'm going to do now is I've got the settling torches out. I'm going to take off these little nubs on the side from what was a catwalk or whatever the hell it was. I've just gotten the last piece welded on here, which is this uh, little piece of angle iron right here at the very end. Now that'll lock the uh, the ramp onto the bar, or ahead of the bar, so it won't you know, jostle itself loose when you're putting a car on there. And other than some grinding to get the, uh, the other stuff cut off there, cleaned up. That's uh, that's completed ramp. Let's go see what it looks like on the trailer. Here are both the ramps on the trailer. And you can see that's quite an improvement. The old one. This closest one to us, I haven't put the locking angle iron pieces on. This one I have, you can see them right here. Yeah, that works. Well, this would focus. There you go. Now you can see that on there. That works. I might or might not come back to this later and cut with a torch, cut this piece of the angle right off and just smooth it up with the grinder. For now I'll leave it like this because, well it's easier, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. I guess that's probably it for now. I'll have to get these all ground up and painted and I'll do another video about uh, testing them out. See how they work. See you later.